Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, got a little bit of explaining for you guys. I'm sure you see it. <laughs> Previously on the channel, we have been working on my 1978 John Deere 312. The 312 that I picked up from the parts yard. Got it running and got it driving a little while ago. We, I did some stuff to it, got it running again. Unfortunately, the seal leaks for the swash plate on there. Uh, I made a decision on what I want to do. I'm going to replace that seal, but I want to hold off on it for a little while. Uh, and I also needed some other parts. Ended up finding, I think it's a 1980 John Deere 317, what I swore I would never buy again <laughs> after my last one, my encounter with one before. What I think I'm going to do is this tractor has some stuff on it that I wanted, came for sale, uh, 300 bucks, ended up buying it. Came for sale, has some stuff on it I want, and I also thought about it. I thought, you know, that's got the hydro, that's got the hydrostatic transmission on it. Uh, I think this transmission's actually in a little bit better shape than the one that I have is. And also my brother needs a Kohler for his, his uh, Deutz that he has. So, kind of thought about it. My original plan was to just get the tractor, get the transmission out of it and sell it or part it out and sell it. Then I started thinking about it. I thought, you know, he needs the engine. I need a transmission and I also need a hydraulic valve. I need a couple hydraulic valves for my 140 or hydraulic ports. So sat down on it a little bit and thought about it. And I think I'm also going, I decided I'm also going to pull the hydraulic ports out of it for my 140. And then it never hurts to have some extra parts around too. So made the executive decision and I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull the 317 apart, go ahead and buy it, just pull it apart, take the pieces off of it that I need for my 312. I was really hoping it had a front PTO on it for the uh, 140, but unfortunately it doesn't. I don't have a PTO for the 140. I had one on there, but I ended up pulling it off. I had to use some force to get it off there because apparently it was wrong or something like that. I'm not sure. So I'm stuck with another 317. Yay. <laughs> um, a little while ago, I did dual brakes on my 312. I used the setup off of a 140 for my uh, dual brake setup on here. Uh, I think I'm going to end up taking that off and I'm gonna switch it for the setup on the 317 because I can't lock the parking brake on here because like I said, that's, where it, that's the one out of a 140 and the 140 is over in the middle. We can look on my 140. It's over in the middle, whereas that one, it's off to the side. You can see that right there. And then on the 300 series, it's over off to the side a little bit. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Kind of pains me to do that, swap that transmission out for a different one, because that's a pretty good transmission. But then I also thought, well, you know, I've got three hydrostatics around here and the, uh, the uh, home light. I kind of thought about it and I thought it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have another hydrostatic around here, a hydrostatic transmission just in case I end up needing it. So I'm gonna drain the fluid out of this one. The 317 doesn't have the sight tube on it, sadly. So I, I don't know how much fluid's in it. So I'm gonna drain the fluid out of this sun strand in here, out of the 312. I'm gonna cap off all the ports and everything, that way nothing gets into it. I'm gonna take the filter off of it as well, since that is a brand new, almost brand new filter. 
I'm gonna put it on that other transmission in there, put that filter on this transmission in here. Kind of swap a few things around. I am gonna keep this hydro. I'm gonna pull that fan off of it because the new transmission doesn't have that cooling fan. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put this back on it. This uh, plate right here. I gotta go ahead and do that. But that's kind of the plan right now. Just kind of figuring it out what I wanna do exactly. Uh, do need some parts off of it so it is nice to have. It is a nice tractor overall, I will be honest with you guys. So, don't know about the engine. The engine does have compression on both cylinders. I did check that, so I was pretty happy about that. So I don't need to worry about another uh, engine being crap. It's got a 100 series steering wheel on it, I see. Points, no cover. Oil, how's the oil look? Looks a little bit low. Actually, never mind, it looks full. Clean oil, wow. Cool, it's still got the, still got the oil fill plug right here. Oh, uh, it might be, it might not be any good. I feel like there should be a rubber up here too. It doesn't hold itself in there. Well, I guess it's good enough for now. Uh, I don't plan on keeping it. If he doesn't end up wanting it, I'm gonna sell it. I think I have a filter housing for it too. I might, I might not. I might have I might have sold it with the 317 that I sold before. Uh, no, I don't think I do. I think I sold it. Damn it. <laughs> Oh well, I don't care. So, I guess that is what I'm going to do is I am going to go on ahead and we are going to get the transmission out of it right now. That is the big thing that I'm after. I wanna get that transmission pulled out of it. Bought it off of my friend Mike. Uh, he wanted to keep the rear tires off of it because he needed a set of rear tires for his 210. So, I was fine with it. I told him, bring it over here once you get it over here, we'll get it unloaded from your truck and we'll take the tires off of it and then bring it in. So we went ahead and did that. Got it in here, took the tires off of it, sat on blocks. He also left the sleeve hitch things in there, which was nice. Story that it, that's got some fluid in it. Story that I got on the tractor, it came with his 316 that he has had a rear PTO on it. I guess it had a tiller on it at one point and they tilled their garden with it. Had a 316 also. I guess he bought it for parts off of his three. He bought it for parts for his 316. Somebody took really good care of it at some point. Uh, and then I guess it got sold. It got started out as a parts donor. This right here doesn't work and you look in there and it's not moving the thing at all looks like at some point it also had rear hydraulics looking right there I bet you you wait a minute the valve's gone what do these go to I wonder if at one point it had rear hydraulics yeah look at that no that's the fuel line huh interesting but it had an adapter on it for a rear PTO. I think he ended up keeping that when, yeah, see it's not there anymore. I kind of figured he kept it. He was telling me about it. Okay, no, it doesn't have fluid in it. It was just right in there a little bit better than I'm used to. But I was gonna change the seal in that transmission, but this guy popped up. I am still gonna change the seal in this transmission, just maybe a little bit later on. Uh, for now, I'm gonna use this other guy, and then maybe if that one has problems, I'll get it back into this one. Also thought about swapping the pumps around. Put this pump, 
or take that pump off, put that pump on this tractor, and then take that pump. I think the sun strand on the cub is starting to go bad. I think it's getting a little bit wore out. Uh, not sure how long after this video is being uploaded. Uh, Mike Starcher on his YouTube channel. A couple days ago I was over at his house and we did a little bit of filming and I took the cub over there with me. He uploaded a video. Why not to buy a cub cadet where I got stuck in a in the creek bed. And then we also did some log dragging with the cub in the video. I'll put a little bit of that here. Um, I think my transmission is starting to get a little bit weak. My hydro pump, it might be fine, but I think it's starting to get a little bit weak. So, not sure what it did in its previous life before I owned it, but kind of figured, well, if I end up needing it, I've got a hydro in here I could put in it. I wouldn't be able to keep that Dana differential right there, but I'd have to I'd have to change that out, but other than that, everything should swap onto it. That hydro pump right there. I need a fan for it too, because a couple blades on that fan are busted off on the cub. I've got that parts donor 111 that I pulled the I pulled apart. I don't know if that that might not work on it. That might be a little bit different. But yeah. So battery light on the camera is flashing so I'm going to go on ahead and put this on the battery and I guess I'll bring you guys back after the battery is charged. Brakes on the 317 work, everything on here works, transmission seems like it's okay looking it over. I don't see anything leaking. It did piss out a little bit of fluid but that's because this tube is gone like I told you guys earlier. So those tubes always seem to be missing. I wish they would have did what they did on the 140s and just had a dipstick on there instead of that. I think that was probably the worst thing that they could have done, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't work for deer. <laughs> so, so yeah, let's go on ahead and let's dive into the guy and I'm going to put you guys on the battery and after I, or on the charger and after I do that, we'll go on ahead and dig into it. Have you made an intro? Got Mike with me in here right now. I'm not sure what he's doing. I guess he's supervising. I'm the assistant cameraman. Yeah. Currently. In five minutes when John breaks something else and needs help, I'm going to be assistant cameraman and assistant mechanic. We're currently removing this trans, as y'all know. The Don't goal. Leave your phone on there. The goal is. Get this out of here. What are you trying to do now? I don't know. The wrong question. One. Yeah. The goal is to get this Rough. into the 312 today. Yeah. And hopefully working. Uh huh. Come on. And then on my channel, y'all will see it next week, dragging logs at the house, at my house. Yeah. John's going to test it. Uh oh. Takes more battery to record. Yeah, I normally don't. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea because I forget to start it back up. So you all know that pole's about four feet long he's using. About six feet tall, actually. No, uh, no, five foot. Because you're six foot. It's not quite as tall as you. You're very wrong. You think? Get them loose and then we'll... You ain't ever taken a hydro out. Ain't had to, I ain't broke them. Oh, well, I guess you get to learn today. I know how, you take the bolts out, I ain't dumb. There's a lot more than just bolts. Okay, bolts and lines, smart ass. Yep. Use your breaker bar. More than that. I feel like I have, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
or felt it break. Cool. Then it wouldn't surprise me if on that front one, yeah, these look pretty rusty. I've been needed on that there, Bubba. Yeah. We're gonna do not really a vice grip garage style video where they try to get it running one day engine wise, but just swapping a transmission. That kind of style. Oh, yeah. I'd say kind of like Vice Grip Garage and all them others. Except for we're not going on the road and we're not going to races. We're just doing it to fuck around. Oh damn, I just got cancelled by YouTube for swearing. <laughs> How sad. Oh, you know, I don't even want to take him out fully yet. Go oh, ahead, take the nut. Oh, yeah, it's dead now. Oh well. Yeah. Taking one out won't hurt shit yet. No, it won't hurt it. Not yet. Can I zoom out while I'm in the video? Well, I don't know how to zoom out. Never mind. I want to trade that other direction. That was zooming in, stupid. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no zoom out. Oh, well. And then. You gotta just keep it recording just in case we end up getting into it. It is recording interesting conversation and start yelling at each other like what we did on your uh, 216 video yeah. I still haven't watched that whole video that we uploaded to my channel I did send me those videos no I want to post that to the backyard jack the club so that people can see John scrub loose to the skiers yeah. oh boy here we go no yeah, we're filming so I'm gonna much. have people on YouTube going you shouldn't have them out there they don't like YouTube. We don't care. Who don't like YouTube? We don't like YouTube. We don't like people out there. They don't like us. We don't like them. Oh, you know what? It would help if I took. I grab some ice creams. What? The vice grips you had around that jacket yesterday. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. I know. I had to close it with the vice. Uh -huh. I think it bent when I closed it with the vice, though. I don't know if it was just. Okay. You know, must have just been a little crooked. I really want to post that to you. I really want to watch that video. Well, there's a friend of the fire. Scrap them. the brake linkage off. After I do that, I'll give you the vice grip suppliers so you can do it on your side. If I can get my fingers behind the spring. I can have it. I'm moving the camera to the yeah, back. Yeah, gotta move it back a little bit so it can see everything. Moving it to the back so it can see hey, both sides. Uh, what do those people in the cities like to call bus mowers? Lawn mowers? Josh, how about you just go uh, back over there and work on your sears? We want to get this done. We're on a time frame. Uh, I got the spring off. You did? Yep.
get it. Loops. I got some dumb. The pallet jack is over in his building. How about the bottle jack? Put some the bottle locks jack under that one. Is well, yeah, I could do that. We'll piss off Watson. I know Watson's Ooh. watching this. Hey, John. Yeah. Oh, hey, Watson. Cool, Watson. By the way, you're. Besides, for the fact that he. Those have my blocks. I can't put a block under that. Use a four by four, stupid. Stupid. The, uh, John. John. What are these you're taking out? I've never seen that on a hydraulic line. It's called a cancel. It's called you? It's called you. I mean, let's, let's see. see. I just want to get it. Just tight enough. So let's hear it. Oh, no, that does have a new filter on it. Well, maybe not. This is the original. Yeah, it's probably the original. The original filter was yellow. When was that? What was that cut on oh, Like what was on the well. Oh, hey. This is an 80. Mike. Yeah, I guess. I guess newest hydro. We ordered the part for the bee. Could be. Ordered what part for the bee? The gasket. Gasket. Or... I meant the ring. We ordered the ring. I ain't too bright when it comes to knowing oh. things' names. Okay. I might have lifted it too much. You think? Just as long as it's. Which means next time I. <laughs> so you can get to it with pliers. Grab it up out with a pair of pliers. And that's loose. Cool. Then it's postage pod time. And it wants okay. to come off. It's even going to move. So all we got to do is pick up this back end. Once we oh, get wait. all the hardware to suck off. And, oh, that's right. Piss. Fucking Joe Bomb. Blurred. Joe Bomber. Blurred. <gasps> Bite the supporter. <clears throat> no. Oh, no way in hell. Hey everybody, the Maniac Mower Support! Oh, your your bottle jack came off, remember? Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, we don't want that. That wouldn't be any good. You know, there was something I was thinking about that I wanted to do. Insert clip of Biden falling down the stairs. Not sure what it was. Insert clip of Biden falling down the stairs. Yep. Insert clip of Biden falling down the stairs. I like it. Yeah. Do you do you tell yourself that so you remember? I just said it so you wouldn't say anything over me. But yeah, I am gonna do that insert clip of Biden falling down the stairs. What's up? Won't close all the way, which is be less postage. Or maybe it's not postage. Where's the other bolt? Come on, you postage stamp. Worthless thing. Hey, quit throwing shit. Watch your mouth, you're on camera! Do you have a real set of those that actually work? 
That's the only one. Well, then your postage, you might not get it out. Get me a set of needle nose. Because unlike you, I'm not going to beat it and break it like it's... Beat it and break it. For those of you wondering, it is worth Canceled. They get the picture anyway. Canceled. Man, this whole clip's gonna have to be taken out. There we go. Yeah, these are not going to work unless I break the other side off. Is that front door locked? this worthless administration we have in the White House and all these illegals running around. I don't keep that door unlocked. You mean the man door? Huh? The man door? Yeah. Is that cam camera filming there, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah, I don't keep the doors around here unlocked. Even in the house, I keep them locked. Although usually somebody's in there when I'm out here, so. Worthless illegals, huh? Yeah. Worthless Canceled. administration we have in our. You mean Joe Obama? Uh huh. Joe Obama? Yep. Joe Biden, Joe Obama? What is that, 1600th Pennsylvania Avenue? That's the address of the White House, right? I have no clue. That's what Trump always says. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Where's the guy down here? I know. Canceled. When? Clip out. Ready? Is that pin out? Yep. Cool. It's hanging in the yoke, but it's not. It's only through one section still. Spider? Yep. I wanted to film it to make the snowflake liberals, I mean uh, YouTube, cry, but I couldn't get the camera down there in time. It was a nasty looking one. I wanted to get rid of them. Ready? I didn't want to get fit by it. I'm going to help this be persuaded. Pick it up and go forward. Yeah, I'm, am I going to drop my bottle there? Pick up. Jack, look. Ready? Yeah. Spot. Stuck. That front tire didn't help me in at all. Trying to fix it on Something, obviously, still hooked something. Move the camera over here so you guys can. There we go. Did you get it? No. This was stuck, it looks like. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you're stuck over here on this side. There we go. That definitely was it. No, it wasn't. Start playing on the, on the drive shaft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? The piss. What's happening? I'm not sure. Is this camera zoomed? It looked like it was zoomed. No, it's not. That's not hooked up. What's this? That doesn't look good. I don't the see it. There's like nothing hooked up unless there's there's nothing. No more records. I'm gonna hit smack that bracket a couple of times in case it's causing havoc. I'm trying to shock it to break it loose. Yeah. Pick it up just to shade and try again. Oh yeah, that time it picked up easier. There we go. There we go. Somebody it's still even on the jack. Somebody even put never sees on it. I'm gonna try and help roll this wheel. Are you ready? Hold on, wait. Hold on a second. I'm caught on something. Shit. Oh yay, my hold on, hey! Whoa, what? It's caught on something and my foot is underneath. Oh, these two, that's why they're bent on the 312. These need to be bent up. They don't come out. It needs to be bent up or else it's gonna hit this frame. Now if I move it up, I might be able to slide it out of that. 
John, if you slide straight forward, they should slide out the back of the frame. Damn. I think you're getting a flat tire. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Let's fall off. I'm gonna go over here and roll this tight. There we go. Hold on, get it up more so that it doesn't land on that. That was harder than it was the 312. You would have had the 312s out before. Okay, even the first one. Everything looks good, everything turns nice. Yep, it turns okay. Cool. It's a little stiff, which is just what we want. That's not broke. Let's blow everything off. Take 312's hose and put it on here, drain the fluid and put it in this one. Yeah. And change the filter. Put that filter on there on here. Oh, that's already loose. Yeah. Is there anything in it? This is where it was at. That is. This is where it starts to snug. Um, you want me to take it off? It's bent. The filter's bent or the whole thing? Hopefully the filter. Yeah, the filter. Okay, good. That doesn't look bent. Oh, there's a little bit in it. <laughs> Tip it over. Drip. Cool. Drip. Leave it off. There ain't no point in putting it back on. Make it sure that it's filtered it bent. Um, oh, yeah, it's definitely filtered. Cool. You gonna put this on your trinket shelf? It's a little beat up. I'm probably gonna put it on the 312 yeah, okay. transmission. Whew. Well, let's get the fluid switched. Yep. Yeah. I will bring you guys back here in a minute. No, where'd you set it? Not oh. sure. Great. So Michael is going to film changing the fan over to this and the coupler and everything else. I'm going to be doing the fluids, which really ain't that special. Bring that fan on or just Marty? Yeah. Any special place you want it? Probably right here, so you can I'm see. I'm gonna everything. put it either here or here. Mm -hmm. right. I'd like to have it look down on this so you can see what I'm doing. I think lower it too. All lower right. just this part, so just a little. Get a good view on this. Is it filming? Yeah, it's filming. Okay, so you'll just have to edit. You want. Can you see everything? Mm-hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna, you know, yank this sucker off of here. This is a drive coupler for the 312. Somebody's perhaps already had it off. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. It broke. It's been in and out too many times. That has? Yep, it broke off on both sides. Uh, I've never had that off this transmission before. This will be the first one. So maybe whoever had it before me. Maybe that's why it was in the junkyard. Woo, that smacked my finger. Which if you haven't already, go check out my channel, which John will link in the description when he uploads. My channel is Mike Starcher. Blurred. You better not blur it. <laughs> if I watch this video and it's blurred, you're in trouble. It ain't gonna be blurred. Who says cancel culture?
kind of come out even harder. Of course. Stamped. Oh, almost. Looks too big. Okay, I'm holding up flyers. Piss on this. I need device grips, John. Need device grip? Need device grips. This one may or may not come out easy. I'm bending this bolt already. Uh -huh, you are? Yep. Fortunately, it's a Tecumseh bolt, like you said, you don't give two shit. This isn't good. What is that pan that I had? What pan? Here it is. My drain pan. Oh, pan. I suppose, well, I let that soak because it's being stubborn. It's recording now, so I guess. Yeah, it looks fine. It might have got some hot ones. It did it when I tried to zoom in. This is, uh oh. There it goes. There was a zip tie through this back pin. That doesn't surprise me. Like I said, it seems like that tractor was fairly well taken care of. It looks a lot better than what came out of the 312. Yeah. Well, it was kind of dark and looked a little burnt out. Yes. Because this bolt is bent, it is now just shoving it off to the side when I smack it. Worthless bolt.
I'm beginning to wonder if this bolt's too big. The one that I'm trying to use. Got a smaller one? Not that I won't destroy them. Where's that nail? Maybe I can get it started with the nail. There it is. Looks kind of sad. That doesn't surprise me. That work. Oh, I forgot what we did to the nail. Get it moving. Grind the end down smaller. Right. And maybe grind some of it off its bent. I'm gonna keep soaking stuff and work on it getting it loose.
off of the other transmission. Back over here with the 312 currently. Got some fluid put in it and got everything pretty much ready to go for it. Just got to hook up this hydraulic line. These hydraulic lines. The air of the filter for the transmission is still sitting on that other transmission. I wasn't able to get it off. Apparently it has tightened up over time. So, currently waiting on an oil filter wrench. And after I get that, I'll get that off here and we should be able to drive this today. Hydraulic lines. Why'd they have to do this? Why couldn't it have just been soft lines? I just watched it. I heard the phone too. Yeah, he messaged me. Probably more than likely I'm going to end up changing the seal and the other transmission. Drained all the fluid and everything out of it to put in this transmission. Still in the plans to change that seal. And then after I get that seal changed I'll keep it probably as a backup transmission for just in case I end up needing it for something. Michael left, of course, as soon as the hard stuff needed done. He knew too. Leave me to have to fight with these hydraulic lines. This one on, shouldn't appear, appear. Not. Never mind. If you ever mess with a 140 or a 300 series, this is about the hardest thing to do on them is transmission hookups. Now, if it's got soft lines on it, well, you're not going to have any problems. If it's got hard lines on it, like what this has, then you're going to have issues. So, heave my warning. Hope that whoever owned it before you did soft lines, or at some point it was changed. I have seen it before. Somebody put soft lines on there. I think it was a 318. I didn't own this tractor, but they, it was on YouTube and you see a lot on YouTube. So. Like that might have, if we're lucky, it might have threaded on there. Let's find out. Maybe it did. Hope I'm turning it the correct way. Yeah, look at that, it did. Maybe. Yep. There we go, we got this one. So, yeah, I figured I'd film this part. A lot of you guys seem to like to watch me suffer. So. Film it and add it to the video. There we go. I think these are same fittings. If I'm correct, that you would use on brake lines. What are they called? I'm trying to think of what these fittings are called. Flares. That's what they're called. I think that's what the I think they use these on vehicles for their brake lines if 
I'm correct. Maybe that will do what I want. Hopefully, don't turn it. Not threading. Nope. Maybe we'll try it. Oh, maybe it is. No, it's not threading. Damn it. Of course. But yeah, this is probably about the hardest part of tractor. And of course it wants to go that way. Gotta be careful, I don't want to kink that line. We gotta pull the these valves out. I'm trying to hit it. Well, it moved a little bit. Seeing if it'll spring back up. I don't. I haven't put any fluid in those. Maybe we can get it to. Run. I usually don't use lubricants, but we're gonna see. I don't really believe in them, but. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can get it to work. Well, that one moved a little. Once you start to... I was expecting it to move and then be able to push itself up. It might, it might here in a little bit. We'll give them a little while to kind of sit there like that. Try to shock him. Now while I let those sit there and do their thing, we'll put this guy back off and I think it needs to come this way. Like that. Let's try that and see what we can get. Yeah. Give me a second, I gotta...
Let's see. I had to check and see who messaged me. Trying to bend that up, but I guess it's not gonna let me bend it. Of course, you can't get it exact in line where you had it before, unless you don't bend it all up at all when you're putting the new transmission in. Sounds like my thing just got home. Got my oil filter wrench. Let's see if we can get this guy off here. You can see I was having some pretty good trouble with it. What the hell? Oh, I see. Let's see how that works. You gotta be kidding me. Too big. What the hell? Oh boy, we're going to have this problem. Hmm. Well, that's great. I might be in trouble. That's not even turning. Is it? Oh, it is. Awesome. <laughs> we got it. Cool. Turned. Whew. Let me grab my... Where's my pan? Stick it under there just in case that wants to leak. And then after I do that, we're pretty much all set and ready to go. Because that's all that needs to be done in order to get this thing driving. So. Cool. I'm going to go on ahead and get this put on that tractor. And after I do that, I'll bring it back. Let's go on ahead and get this on here. Very special thank you to mom for running out there and doing that for me. Such short notice. Uh, they were on their way somewhere and I called and I needed a oil wrench, an oil filter wrench quick. So. Called her and on their way home they grabbed one for me. So. It almost ended up being too short for what I needed, or too big, actually.
out of here these valves and see if we can get it get all the crap away from it. If we can fix them. If not, I'll just grab the ones from the 312's transmission. It ain't no big deal. Those came out of a 317 that I had. I'm sure you all probably remember that tractor. This was supposed to be its parts donor and then it ended up getting into the... I really had a part for it. up there and clean it up and if you look in there there's the ball that's what relieves it and then uh, this is where fluid goes through this is a relief for when you push it so that you can push it around all I need to do is get something in here to move once I get that to move I'm good so let me get that moving and I'll bring you back let's see But I decided you guys probably want to watch. So we'll do this on camera, and then that one I'll do off camera. And I guess it'll determine whether we keep these valves or swap them. I'm, you know. I'm just gonna swap them because I have other valves that I know are good. Uh, I'm just gonna do that for now. Maybe later on I'll mess with these. So here's how one of those valves work. You can see right here, there's that little ball. When this moves, that releases pressure. When that goes up, that sets it so that the engine can drive the pump. You can see. So that's how that works. So now that everything is pretty much done, I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse, putting it back together. As far as I know, everything's on there that needs to be, so here we go.
Cut that off, put on there, and done. I'm surprised the camera's still going. Battery light's flashing. Let's go on ahead and see if we can get this thing to start up, and if it starts up, if it'll drive. It is making a rubbing noise. I did spin it over a little bit when I put that battery in to make sure everything worked. It makes a little bit of a rubbing noise, but I think that might just be the drive shaft hitting on the fender pan. Let's go on in, see if we can get it to start. Ready? If it starts, open the door. If it starts, then cool. Ready? Here we go. Let me get some stuff out of my way and we'll go for a little ride. 